All right, this is your daily dose of crypto airdrop alpha. So for a dimension stakers, you can now go and claim your MAND or Mandy. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but the token is claimable. You won't get it for another 31 days, it looks like. But all you have to do is copy and paste your wallet address that you use to stake dimension tokens, and it will show you how much you're going to be getting. So with this public wallet here, I'm getting 8.97 MAND tokens, and it looks like you do need to actually claim it, so make sure that you go and do this before the timer counts down. And then it says that this is the minimum amount you could get. So I guess this is going to be similar to some of the other Cosmos ecosystem airdrops where when people don't claim their allocation, it gets redistributed to the people that did. Anyways, I don't have any price prediction for this. I don't have any idea what it's going to be worth, but I know there's going to be people in the comments asking. The point though is that by staking all of the dime that we got from the Dimension airdrop, we now keep getting all of these additional airdrops. And honestly, they're going to add up. I'm feeling like at some point, I'm going to probably double the amount of dime tokens that I have by simply staking it and then rolling the airdrops into it. Or I guess I could sell it for other stuff. Another Cosmos ecosystem claim that is live is Sega Round 2. So this is for people that either staked 101 Sega tokens as of April 26th, or if you received the first round of the Sega airdrop and staked 95 plus percent of the airdrop amount that you received, you can now go visit the claim page and claim another allocation. You won't actually get the tokens for seven days, but you have to manually click the button and claim it. And this has actually been a pretty solid one in kind of a sea of disappointing airdrops recently. This one is 50 plus percent of the actual original airdrop amount that you got, as long as you stake 95 plus percent of it before the snapshot. So definitely a solid one to go and claim. So let's move on now to continued rumors of the ZK Sync airdrop. So this now is from another Perpdex hold station and apparently they've got the pre-launch page listed on their app as well for the ticker symbol ZKS and people actually did some detective work on this and inspected behind the scenes of the website and came up with potentially an actual listing date. So maybe ZK Sync token is going to be live and tradable on May 16th. If that is the case then I'm assuming they would probably airdrop it before it's live and tradable. Otherwise, that's not going to be an ideal launch. It looks like we're actually getting close to this one. The snapshot has probably been taken, but like I've said before, I don't actually think that the ZK Sync airdrop is going to be a one and done. I think it would be nice if it was because we can finally actually cross something off of our list. But the new meta these days seems to be multiple seasons, multiple rounds to keep people engaging and hopefully keep them from just leaving the ecosystem post drop. All right, next up, let's move to some Solana Alpha. So Sanctum right now, there's still time to join and still time to actually, I think, rank up this leaderboard relatively easily. What you need to do is get some INF tokens in your wallet before tomorrow, because tomorrow there's gonna to be a 4X points boost on INF tokens for only 24 hours, but that 24 hour period could make a massive difference. And if people are watching this video, this is your chance potentially to start from scratch and actually rank up or to move up the leaderboard. Now, if you wanna get INF tokens, you can get them by clicking here on the Sanctum map on the infinity button and swap into it from Sol or some other liquid stake token or you can get it on exchanges like Jupiter. Then once you have the INF tokens you can either keep them in your wallet or to earn the experience points you can also deposit them into Solana DeFi like for example MarginFi, Camino Finance or you could LP on Meteora. There's a bunch of options here if you do any of these five options you will earn the points and then the 4x boost starting tomorrow for 24 hours and then after that there's gonna be other LSTs that we want to pivot and rotate into to continue maximizing the points for this. And then the other piece of alpha for Sanctum is that if you scroll down to the community quest section, you're gonna to want to click this button here to show quest two. And there's actually a little quiz if you scroll to the end here and you need to answer the question in order to get the next bonus. And the answer to that question is even star cathedral. So I'll copy, paste that and put it down below in the description of this video but you just need to enter that into the little box right here, and then you'll be able to get the bonus for Quest 2. Now, Quest 3 is currently on as well, but at this point, I don't think anyone's actually figured it out, or if they have, I haven't seen it going around on Twitter, but as soon as we know the answer to Quest 3, I will also share that. And if you have not yet joined the Sanctum Wonderland page, I'll leave an invite code down below. It's actually not my invite code. I'm currently doing a raffle for members of my Discord and whoever wins that raffle is going to get to have their Sanctum referral. So if you use the referral, 
down below in the description of this video, you will be helping out a random member of the community, not an influencer like me. All right, moving on now. Another piece of alpha within the Solana ecosystem is Clone. So this is a new airdrop farm that you can sign up for right now. In order to open an account, there's a one-time fee of 0.07 SOL. So keep that in mind. But I'm gonna go ahead and open up the account on this wallet here. So the TLDR of this app is that it clones assets that aren't actually from the Solana ecosystem. So there's a list of the ones that they've got in their market down here. So we've got Arbitrum, Optimism, Sui, Doge and BNB and it adds liquidity to be traded and used in DeFi within the Solana ecosystem. How does it work? Well there's two parts to the app here. There's the liquidity providing part of it and then there's people that actually want to buy and sell and hold these assets. And I would say that this is definitely a smaller and more under the radar opportunity within the Solana ecosystem. However that means it's also less diluted for sure. So once you sign up and create an account you can either add liquidity or you can click on this button and then open up the clone markets application. And here you can trade these non-native assets on Solana using the app right here. Okay, the next piece of alpha for you is that the layer three airdrop campaign, at least round one of it, is ending in less than 24 hours. So in order to qualify, you need to have at least 100 cubes. This is basically last call to mint cubes. I found one today that's super, super easy to actually get. You just click a few buttons and then you can mint this cube. There's definitely some opportunities here if you're close to the 100 mark to actually push yourself over the threshold. This is one of the easiest ones that I've seen for sure. Then there's also that scroll campaign where each quest comes with a cube. And at this point, I would say if you're starting from scratch, it's gonna be tough. But if you're close at least to that 100 cube mark, you could probably make it. Okay, next step. For Zero Lend and the Zero Token airdrop, when they launched it a couple of days ago, the cutoff was 20,000 early zero to be able to actually claim some zero tokens. But now they've actually gone back on that and they're allocating zero one to one to early zero, regardless of how many points. So there was no minimum threshold. That means that if you weren't previously eligible, you can go to check and see if you have an allocation now, I would recommend doing so. Because if you had, for example, 15,000 early zero, now you would actually be able to claim something. Whereas a couple of days ago, you wouldn't have seen any allocation. Okay, next up, if you're farming the Tyco testnet still, they're in the final iteration of their testnet and there's a new app that just launched today, a new exchange, so you can make some swaps and provide some liquidity. This is the Tyco Hecla L2 testnet. And so I definitely recommend pushing a couple of transactions through if you can. These are all testnet tokens, so they have no real monetary value but if you make some interactions, that could help you qualify for a Tyco airdrop. Okay, next up, KelpDAO's wrapped restake ETH is now available for looping with the hook feature on Init Capital. So previously I've showed how to use Init Capital to leverage up using USDE from Athena, and now you can actually do so with KelpDAO's ETH as well. And since they've enabled withdraws or unstaking natively, there is now a much, much lower risk of depegging. So also a much lower risk of liquidation when using leverage tools like this. And by the way, this is currently on the Blast L2 network. Okay, next up, Superform Labs has left beta. So now anyone can actually access the platform. And this is actually a way that you can get yield on your assets, but you can also farm interoperability protocols like Hyperlane and also layer zero when you make deposits and withdrawals from the platform. So what you need to do if you wanna try and take advantage of this is make sure that you're making cross-chain deposits and withdrawals. So if you make a deposit of USDC on the base network, for example, then you can withdraw it onto the Optimism network. And when you do that, it will trigger interactions with Hyperlane and also potentially with layer zero. And the final piece of alpha that I have for you today is this Galaxy campaign from Bitfinity. So it's possible that completing these quests will have some sort of relevance for a Bitfinity airdrop. This is another Bitcoin layer two or Bitcoin DeFi airdrop target. And they also have a test net that is currently restricted to me for some reason. Usually I don't get geo block. But anyways, you can visit the test net, get some test net tokens from the faucet and interact with it. And then also do the galaxy quests if you wanna try and farm this one. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Lots of actions in there that you can take to continue farming airdrops. And like I said, I will continue bringing you the alpha until it dries up completely because I still see a solid amount of opportunity in the space. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.